the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive <laughs> and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! What was that? Go to Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes. There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap. <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking <laughs> name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Damn, everything, like, her whole posture is just comedic. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. Alright, let's go have the time of our lives. Well, damn, like. He oh, came I know her. exactly where to take you. She said, Get out of my condo! <laughs> get out of my condo! I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip. Exactly. Oh. My bad, bro. My bad, my bad, my bad. Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. 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 Syrup. Accident. Ketchup pack is We've me. all been there. Please. We sure have. But, but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Pause. Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, cousin Deborah. Look, this Trevor, is it. Trevor out here killing folks no. and forcing me to come to Vanilla Unicorn. Strip club? I don't oh, want to yeah. see no goddamn naked bitch right now. I like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that it's, apartment. It's early. It's too early. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. It's too early Where? to be out here looking for naked bitches. <laughs> I just want to play games. I want to play video games. Right here. Here? <laughs> Here. But now that I've seen it in the flesh, I don't mind too much. Hey, you, you two, you two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. 
Mm-hmm. Through there. Oh, the oh. Right. Thank you. That ass, but the face is busted. You burnt bitch. <laughs> I heard your story. Amigo, prepare to meet your new partner. Is he about to kill that dude? What, what, what part of killing makes you want to go and buy a strip club? Cause that's that's where I'm getting kind of stumped. You kill folks and that makes you want to buy a strip club. Hmm. I just don't. I don't. I just don't feel the same way. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the um the big one, the the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. The big one's going down now. Never mind, save the game. It's gonna go down now. Hang 10. That's all the mission was like. I don't even know, like. I, I wasn't very involved in that. Where's the exit to my house, please? There we go. He got his big old house to himself. That's gotta hurt, bro. Life is all about family. It's all about family. Whether it's your immediate family of mother and brother and sister or whatever. Where's it's the family you've built. Your wife and kids. All right, we're gonna head over here. Oh, we're gonna meet him in the strip club? You know your life ain't going so hot when your friends just assume that you're at the strip club. They just assume you're there. Like, I mean, strip club every now and again can be lit. Although I don't go strip clubs. I go to gentlemen's clubs. You know, there's a difference. There's a difference. I'm gonna whip all that ratchet shit. So you're gonna drive into me? No, we all that ratchet shit. There. I hope I get to shoot somebody in this episode. If I don't, I have to record another one. Because I turned on this game to shoot somebody, now I have to go to a strip club. Right, so I'm so ready for the next GTA. I'm so ready. What are we going to do with Red Dead Redemption first? Oh man, did I fuck up? I fucked up. No, I didn't. Never mind. But yeah, man, Red Dead Redemption, I'm not as hyped as everyone else is, man. I like. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm in my own plane when it comes to Resident, uh, Red Dead Redemption, because I just didn't see the hype. Like, yeah, it was a good game, but I can't give it any better than that. It wasn't amazing, it wasn't, it was good. You know, the story was garbage. That's where it drops off for me. Like, the story was absolute trash. Everyone loves John Marston, and uh, he had no uh, ch ch charisma to me. Like, he was not a likable character. He was so plain, so damn boring. How you make a cowboy boring? Like, cowboys are the most entertaining fucking, uh, I forgot the word, bro. They ain't protagonist. Protagonist ain't the main dude, is it? Yeah, protagonist. Antagonist is what I was thinking. Yeah, how you make... City of Saints and struggle, lost scandals. Shut and up, bro. Good, good to see you. How you make a, a cowboy a boring protagonist? You goddamn right. right. Real talk. I Tell asked for your number, but they took my phone. Look at my man's right there. Go get you, get you, get you some. Wait out here, getting it. All right, let's go and have a word with Trevor. Hey. What's up? Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. The big one! Oh, we're not doing that? 
A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The big one! The big one. Yeah, we did it this what time. What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Gainful Big employment, one. I like that. Big one. Maximum effort, people. He killed the homie. That's expected. Very good. Hey, you there? All right. We're on a strict schedule. And there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS. You kidding at me, Trevor? 1530. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank. See if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit rods, general vibe. All right. I wasn't sure what taking the temperature meant. I thought we was taking the temperature in the room. You know, but I don't do bank heist, so you can no not look me. like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking you about, clap, clap. Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Okay. So we want to take over to, to Trevor? Because they, they keep hinting to it. So I think that's what we want to do. Might be wrong. Drive to the airfield. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. I'm, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch back because I don't want to drive that far. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to Michael. There we go. We're gonna let Trevor do his own thing. We're gonna let him go to the airfield by himself. I'm not trying to drive that far. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. Look, dog. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Okay. That's some thick well, piss. Uh, you uh, need to check that. That doesn't look good. Like clockwork, that looks Mikey. like some stout. Like clockwork. That looks like some stout. Some thick ass piss. Wrong color. You mentioned a uh, like job custard. before help you with I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet but he's gonna be on board he's obligated what is it ain't it obvious busting Brad out of the clink how do you talk to Mike about it oh fine shit I was gonna pay you man when there ain't an obvious profit in something you're a hard guy to motivate you know like you probably should give up on Brad bro it's not looking too hot for you guys. Brad out here. He, he, Brad, Brad is the Madeline McCann of GTA 5. It's tough, bro. Pull up on the airfield. Let's get it. Look at the brake. Oh, I gotta fly, man. Y'all gotta stop. Stop doing this to me, You're man. the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. I gotta stop. I really do. TP Enterprise. See now, like with, like I don't mind. 1330. <laughs> We're an hour down, two to go. I don't mind flying in stuff like this because, like, there's nothing for me to really crash into. Be careful into. not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. When you go, me fly. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. 
Attention aircraft, this airspace is prohibited. Reverse course now. Like, my bad, I didn't know, okay? Like, chill. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. Are you and kidding me? Never Can you get this off my screen Man, now? Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Mmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Uh, I'm not sure how Michael West, you feel about it. Come that. in, Michael! That's okay. We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. The big one! We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. We need to follow them. Get closer. What? I was... Huh? I didn't even know I was in control of the helicopter anymore. I was trying to move and nothing was happening. Oh, fucking... Get me out of this helicopter. I hate... I hate flying shit, man. Come in, Michael. We have a visual on the convoy. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush. Ma'am. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? Oh. I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I, I guess that see won't work if the here. Camera is like no, this. it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. All right, we go ahead. Listen, I'm clean in a helicopter. Like, I know what I'm doing. I like kind of. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Trevor sounds mad salty, like. Your decision, was, your, 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 your plan was, was garbage. Like, just accept it. But that plan was not job. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Uh, what does that mean? Because I'm not following you at all. Ways to make minutes go by. I'm just, I'm just gonna throw a pause out there just in case. Just a cautionary pause. Sounded like he was insinuating something. And we know, we can't put nothing like that past Trevor. He's shown tendencies. Like here, road. yeah, this is where she gets tough. Please! They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet him at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. That's a smart idea. There they are, back out in the open. It'll need to be a quick turnaround, but you can take them in there. 
Oh, wrong way. Oh, Cadius. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. ID shouldn't be a problem. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Onion 86 now, in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Uh, cautionary force again. Just to be safe. Yeah. Sounds about right. So where is this destruction side? It, it, it could at least hint as to which direction. God damn it. Thought I was in there for a second. There you go. big ass hole. Hover above it while I record what we need. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. Bitch, like, yeah, how are you gonna ask me to do something and then repeat yourself two seconds after? Give me some time to do it. I know I can't handle one of these. Look, that's as good as you can get. I'm hovering above it. My my guy, you you have to. Just hold the chopper here. You can do that, right? I don't know. Like you go, you go get your jump done. Look steady enough on that bedrock. Steady now. Huh? Yeah, that'll do. It might A look steady, longer. but. Whoever it is. I think I've got everything story. I need to make some plans. Alright! Cool! Take Frank into his house. We're gonna sell the big one in the next episode. The big one! Hey, so how you feeling about this? I feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, uh, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? Well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Real shady. Do real slim shady, please stand up. Alright. Franklin, I'm gonna have to drop you off because you asking too many damn questions. Right, holla at me. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. You ain't even gonna say peace? Do this, bro. Catch you in a bit. Alright, so we're gonna wrap up this episode right here. Next episode, we're probably gonna get started on the big one, planning it and stuff. I would say we got maybe. between five and ten more videos maybe a little bit less if I start doing long videos which I actually plan on doing maybe getting free missions in some of the videos and stuff I did plan on doing a lot of side missions but like I said this walkthrough is very long like if I went through side missions in there this would be like a, a 40 part walkthrough and I'm not trying to have that at all no I'm not trying to so hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like subscribe all that stuff peace